y'all, it's Kayla. Today I am going to be showing you how I built this little goat warming hut. Um, Miss Clover over here has been thinking about having babies for almost four weeks now. We've had an udder, like a decent udder for four weeks and we've been extremely swollen for four weeks and her ligaments are kind of squishy. So uh, hopefully she'll have them soon, but this week, our fourth week now, is in the negatives. I think we have a nice balmy today. I think we, we're at five degrees outside, maybe if we're lucky. It's really, really freaking cold. So in these circumstances, uh, you need something to warm your baby goats. So I'm building this. I am accounting for, trying to account for, all of the dumb things that goats can do. Um, I've got multiple security measures, like this is attached to the wall. This is not quite finished, I still have to go anchor this off, but my big extension cord will be anchored off. So if somehow this comes unsecured from the wall, that will be secured. And if it falls down, then this is going to pull and it will become unplugged. I made sure I got the lo loosest plug I have just for that reason, because goats. I have on here a strap right now. I will also be adding a chain. Um, I'll be adding it in pretty much the same way that I added the strap. So you guys can, you'll be able to see how I put the strap on with my eye hooks and everything. And then inside I have a heat lamp with a 250 watt red bulb. Um, I chose red just because nighttime and all of that, it's a more calming color versus having a bright ass white light on your babies 24 seven. So yeah, that is, this is my DIY baby goat warmer. And as you can see, it's pretty sturdy. It's not, it's not really wiggling or going anywhere. Um, again, I have my heat lamp secured multiple ways to the wall. This part's to the wall. This is going to be a safety feature. We're going to have chain. Um, I'm really doing all that I can to prevent barn fire. If anyone else has suggestions for something I can do to make this even better, I am all ears. I'm always about learning and trying to do things, but this is what I've got going on right now because it's supposed to be negative 17 tomorrow night and Knowing goats, that's going to be the night she decides to spit a baby out is when it's going to be negative 17. So this is ready to go. Um, and the first part that I'll be showing you guys, um, I'll just like speed through it because it's loud and noisy. Is me cutting out this hole right here for the babies to go in. Now you want to make sure that it is small enough for the baby or big enough for the babies, but too small for the mama goat to get in there. You want to try and prevent any accidents accidental crushing or anything like that. I chose this spot for her because she likes to nest right over here and sleep right there at night. So it's close to the babies and it's easy for me to get an extension cord over. I'm not like running it across the beams or something. Um, even if she doesn't nest there, if it's there where the babies are, the mom will usually probably go nest next to it. So yes, yeah, so we'll get into it. You can watch me cut this out and um, watch me assemble the rest of this and I'm going to go tie that off and go run to the hardware store feed store and get some paint to add another section on here. All right, enjoy! <laughs> Me. 
me get in the picture frame here for you guys. I'm just undoing all of the stuff in here. Yeah, it's a heat lamp. You don't get it. It's for your babies. So I'm going to be screwing into this board and that board, but I'm going to leave this in here for now, get this affixed to the wall so that it doesn't fall over and cause barn fires because we, we don't want that shit. So I'll show you how I fix it to the wall, then I'll go get another wood and show you how I'm securing the heat lamp so the heat lamp does not have any problems. So let me go grab my tools to put this on the wall. So for the next step, what I'm going to be doing is um, putting in these eye hooks into the wall and then I will be attaching a strap to them and ratcheting the strap on to hold this barrel tight to the wall. I will also be, I don't have it right now, but I'll also be attaching chain to it. Um, I've got to run to the feed store later and grab that. Just because this is cloth, maybe maybe a goat's gonna decide to chew through it. So I want two, two ways that it's secured, one with this easy to do ratchet, one with the chain. Um, I like the ratchet because I can get this really tight against the wall but just in case, you know, uh, a goat decides to figure out how to destroy it, I'm also going to be getting chains put on here. So I'm going to pre-drill the holes, then screw these in, and then put the ratchet, the, the strap, ratchet strap on. So here we go. All right. This is my two by four. We're going to do halfway up the barrel. facing up and down versus side to side just because that's more secure for the um, strap. Hey. 
and then crash it down. And there, now that's nice and nice and tight. Very little wiggle room. So that's not gonna go anywhere. Yay! Okay, next I want to tie this up. Keep the goats from eating this part. Hopefully. Right off. Now I got my longer piece here. I'm gonna grab that and we're going to attach this to the walls or to these boards. Um, I need my drill bit too. So let me go grab those things. tied off on the other side so if for some reason this were to somehow come off the wall with all of this going on it will unplug from the big extension cord so again just another precaution because goats and animals in general like to destroy things so i'm going to go ahead and drop my extension cord and turn it on and you guys can see the finished goat warming hut all right so all of this is ready i have my corner where i have not tightened it over there um I want to see how much slack I needed, so I just pop it over for now. So let's plug her in. Maybe. And voila! Little goat warming hut. And I'll put, um, yeah. So there we go. This is how I'm making my simple and as safe as I can possibly make it right now goat warming hut. That way, if the clover drops her babies anytime in the next week, which she better because she has been bagged up for four weeks now. Um, you're so frightening. Come here. Clover, come get in the picture and say hi to the people. Clover. Clover. No, she doesn't want to come say hi to you guys. Sorry. She's wanting to go on her walk. It's part of our hostage negotiation. She's staring outside. So, um, yeah, I'll let this run and I will temp it. I'll go grab my temp gun here in a couple hours and show you what temperature it's at. Um, and then I'll be running to the store later to get the chain for this. So yeah, this is my little goat warming hut. I hope this is helpful for some of you guys, especially if you live in a climate like I do, where you regularly get into the negatives because 
honestly, you need something to keep the baby goes warm when it's that cold. The other thing that I'll be doing is as soon as they're born, I will be blow drying them on warm or hot, depending, um, just to make sure that they get dried off really quickly and are warmed up and are not wet and cold out here for too long. So here we go. My next thing I want to try to do is get a camera up in here, but I have to get Wi-Fi out to the barn, so I'm going to enlist Scott's help for that. She might have her baby before then, so we will see what happens. But yes, thank you guys for hanging out and seeing how I build my little goat warming hut. Jax. Yeah. Alright, so I've had this running for about an hour. Hi, Clover, are you helping? And I just wanted to show you guys that it's warming. It'll be even warmer with two babies in there and some straw. But right now in my, in, oh, let me move away from it. In my barn, we're around 11.3. And then in here, we are at 26, 29. So almost at freezing, which is good. And then once I have the straw pile in there and there's babies trapping body heat, it'll be nice and toasty warm. Do you approve clover? Is it clover approved? Yeah. I gotta go get a chain to put on there. So yeah, I just wanted to check in and show you guys that, that it's doing a good job heating. Um, and the longer you have it sit and all of that, the warmer it will get, especially once you add straw in there to hold the heat. There's nothing in there right now. It's just on the ground. So I'll throw some straw in there and test it. Hi, Clover. But yeah, the um, so, Hold on. So that is my test. Clover, stop putting your head against me. She's pushing her head against me. Maybe, maybe we're gonna have babies. Maybe, maybe a baby, Clover. So yeah, that's how I did it. I just wanted to show you guys my like quick one one hour test of heat on there without anything in it. Um, if you are expecting goat kids for your first time or just want more goat kid info this is the second of my goat kidding series the first one i did was about what's in my kidding kit and clover um i have to check her ligaments here in a minute and uh <laughs> sorry clover stop she's putting her horns in inappropriate places <laughs> Um, I will be doing all of like the signs of imminent labor and all of that kind of stuff here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will check or I will see you guys in the next video. Alright, bye.